This is part one in a video lesson series of home glass hacks. We've recently had to move our work from our studios to our homes, so a lot has changed. In this first lesson, I will be covering how to do glass bending using a tea light. This is a very, very simple introduction to lamp working, which is something that can be covered in depth in glass making studios. It's a way to keep the making going and keep our hands on the medium and being creative with it. So let's get started. You will need a pair of safety glasses, some glass stringers, these are the rods that we will be bending, they're 1mm to 3mm thick. You also need a metal baking tray or another metal surface or even a wooden surface where we can put the hot glass on without it burning. So we need two pairs of tweezers or even normal DIY pliers. A tungsten glass scorer or another gl glass scorer can be just fine. And of course a tea light. And a lighter. Throughout this whole thing you're going to have to watch those fingers. We will be dealing with heat, the glass will be hot and so will the metal tools. We'll start with a simple design to get used to the heating and bending process. Start turning your stringer in your hands over the flame. After a while it will begin to get soft and you'll be able to start bending it. Don't worry about the black residue that's on the glass, this will wash off later. So you can continue this process and always be mindful of where your fingers are placed so as not to get burned. It's helpful to move the glass in the flame so that it actually gets heated all the way around. You'll notice different, different thickness stringers heat up at different rates. The stringer here is actually a 3 mil stringer and this is as thick as I would go with this process. It's a very simple design but it's an easy way just to get a feel for what's going on. I'm now going to show you how to make some glass chain. We're going to use two stringers for this process. Using a tweezers, grab the end of your glass stringer and hold the heat on the section you want your first bend to be in. We're creating the glass links that are all going to come together to make your full glass chain length. Once you have the three corners done on your second link, you can go back now and score and snap the first link. Make sure to leave enough material so that you can bend round and form the final corner on it. Again, use your tweezers for this process. For more comfort and safety, you can use a second set of tweezers so that you're holding the glass with the metal tools and not your hands. The glass can get quite hot and it holds the heat for quite some time so it's a bit safer to do it this way. You're going to now join the two links Snap the second one off, leaving enough material to do the final bend.
heat up the fourth corner and turn it over to finish off the second link. last bending process can be used to make writing, continuous line drawing or even designs that have moving glass parts in it. So have fun, experiment and happy home glass making.